All right, hello everybody. Travis Chandler here with of Chandler Gaming with the next episode, episode four of the Mass Effect series with the Engineer character. If you haven't already, subscribe and hit that notification bell. Subscribe, get notified, and we're gonna get down to it in this video. I just love this theme. It's so peaceful. It's just so peaceful. <sighs> nice cold water. Man's got to have his water. Okay, here we go. We're going to go talk to everybody, I think. Yes, we are. Because we just got Liara. Okay. Okay. Excuse me one second. Oh man, I'd sneeze. Okay, so I cut out talking to the, uh, to the quartermaster. Be a C-Sec officer in the first place. Hmm. That's a good question. There were several reasons, I guess. Like what? Probably the same as most officers. I wanted to fight injustice. Wanted to help people. I guess my father had something to do with it too. He was C-Sec, one of the best. I grew up hearing about his accomplishments or seeing his picture on the vids after a big arrest. He's taking my resignation pretty hard. That's tough, but you'd think he'd be impressed you're going after Saren. My father's a C-Sec man to the bone. Do things right or don't do them at all, he says. He thinks I'm being too rash, too impatient. He's worried I'll become just like Saren. He actually talked me out of becoming a Spectre when I was younger, for the same reasons. You were asked to be a Spectre? Well, I was targeted as a possible Spectre candidate. Me and about a thousand other Turian military recruits. I could have received special training, but my father didn't like it. He despises the Spectres. He hates the idea of someone having unlimited power. You know, that is a good point right here. He wouldn't like you, Commander. No offense. That is a good point. I suppose I can understand his concern. You can. But Saren's not going to play by our rules. C-Sex rules. If you want to nail Saren, you need to send someone who isn't restricted by policies and procedures. Just because you can break the rules doesn't mean you should. I don't need to stoop to Saren's level to stop him. And neither do you, Garrus. I see what you mean, but... I'll think about it. Thanks, Commander. Okay, and so I skipped talking to Ashley. So, we've got Saren on the run. We sure do. It won't be long now. Saren's good, but I'm better. Good. He's rotten. To the core. I could tell as soon as I met him. Why didn't you tell me this sooner? I would have if I thought it was important. I think I'd like to hear about it just the same. This was a while ago. A bunch of mercs were bragging about a job out near the edges of the Terminus systems. They said it paid well and the boss was never around to ride them. They said he was looking for more men, too. So I checked it out. I didn't know Saren was openly recruiting mercs. It wasn't that open, and he only showed his face once. We'd been raiding ships in the area for months when we took out this massive cargo freighter. Our biggest haul yet. I was on board checking bodies for valuables, looking for some extra credits. That's when I saw him. Holy shit! What did Saren want with the ship? I don't know what he wanted. He was just moving through the ship, watching. A couple of the mercs called him by name, but he never spoke to them. Never spoke to anyone. I had a really bad feeling about him, so I got the hell out. Didn't even wait to get paid. That's the only time you saw him? 
Yeah. Didn't even know who he was. Still wouldn't if I hadn't joined up with you. But my instincts were right. Every other merc on that mission turned up dead within a week. Every damn one. So long, Rex. Shepard. <laughs> there we go. We got a level out of looking at that stuff. What are we doing now? Is this where I start going for specter training for Unity? Yep, that's exactly what I do. You need some weed. Are you okay? I don't know. Your ship is amazing, and your crew's been really great to me, especially your chief engineer. But I just sort of feel out of place. The Normandy runs so smooth, it feels like we're not even moving, and the engines are so quiet. How do you sleep at night? I find it rather peaceful. Don't worry. You'll get used to it. But it's more than just a silence. This ship feels so empty. It's like half the crew is missing. Back home, I couldn't wait to go on my pilgrimage. I couldn't wait to get away from the crowds. Now that I'm out here, I kind of miss them. Sometimes we don't appreciate what we have until it's gone. Yeah, that is true. I'm starting to wonder if that's what the pilgrimage is really about. It's given me a whole new perspective on my people and our culture. You know, there's always a few who go on their pilgrimages and never return. I always assumed something bad happened to them. But maybe they just wanted a different life. You do plan to return to the migrant fleet, right? I could never abandon my people, Shepard. I will go back eventually. But we have to stop Saren first. Otherwise, I might not have a home to go back to. I should go. See you later. Alright, cool. I was finally got smart and started cutting out the running. <laughs> yeah. Finally. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? Damn right I am. Better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I never properly thanked you for saving me from the Geth, Commander. If you hadn't shown up... I'm just glad we got there in time. So am I. Yeah, for another reason. <laughs> I have seen the way your crew looks at me. They do not trust me. But I am not like Benezia. I will do whatever I can to help you stop Saren. I promise. Don't worry, Liara. I trust you. I know you won't let me down. It means a lot to hear you say that, Commander. Thank you. Tell me about yourself, Liara. Me? I am afraid I am not very interesting, Commander. I spend most of my time on remote digs, unearthing mundane items buried in long-forgotten Prothean ruins. You must enjoy something about it. I love my work. Seeking out history's lost secrets has a special appeal for me. You were actually touched by working Prothean technology. That is why I find you so fascinating, Commander. Sounds like you want to dissect me in a lab somewhere. What? No! I did not mean to insinuate. Uh, I never meant to offend you, Shepard. I only meant that you would be an interesting specimen for an in-depth study. Uh, no, that's even worse. Calm <laughs> down, I was only joking. Joking? Oh, by the way, how could I be so dense? You must think I am a complete and utter fool. <laughs> now you know why I prefer to spend my time in the field with data disks and computers. I always seem to say something embarrassing around other people. Please, just pretend this conversation never happened. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. I, I prefer gold to silver, you know, for my metal. I figured you'd recommend me for one since I, uh... Pulled your boots out of the fire. 
If we present you with a medal, you'll end up sitting on stage listening to politicians make speeches for a couple of hours. Fun, fun. That's a good point. They'd probably make me shave, too. I spent the last seven weeks working on this baby. No medal's worth that. So, Commander, why don't you tell me why you're really here? How'd you end up joining the Alliance? Look, if you're looking for an inspirational tale of the crippled kid overcoming impossible odds, you're gonna be disappointed. My mother was a civilian contractor working for the Alliance. I basically grew up on the Arcturus station back when they were building up the fleets. Spend all that time around Alliance ships, there's a good chance you'll end up going to the Academy. Ah. Have to go. All right, see ya. All right, see ya. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna go around the galaxy, I think. I think that's what this video is gonna be. Patch it through. Commander Shepard, my name is Nasana Dantius. I have a job for you. I can't say anymore in an unsecured communication. If you're interested in hearing my offer, meet me on the Citadel so we can talk in person. I'll be waiting in the diplomat's lounge on the Presidium. Can you say scum bucket? I don't know why I didn't cut this out, but I didn't. Oh, I know why. For when we get to the Citadel. Okay, I want to get everybody set up squad-wise. I can't decide what I want to do with Ashley here. Okay, that's what I do with Ashley. And then, of course, with Liara, get your class maxed. And we want to learn all her abilities that are open. I don't know why I waste points with electronics for her. I, I don't know why, but I do. Warp is the one I should be concentrated on. Come on. There you go. Yeah, perfect. Singularity is another one that you should get, too. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Tin Hut! That is. Rear Admiral Mihailovic, 5th Fleet. Commander Shepard, SSV Normandy. You don't know who I am, do you, Commander? It doesn't matter what your name is! I command... <laughs> you to <discuss> <laughs> you Hell yeah, that was pretty funny. The got their paws, claws, tentacles, whatever. They got them on our ship, and you. I still serve the Alliance, sir. As a Spectre, I can advance our interests to the Council. Hmm. You still know what color your blood is, Shepard? I don't begrudge the politician's decision to throw you to the council. It's an opportunity. 
I do begrudge this over-designed piece of tin, though. You don't approve of the Normandy's design? This experiment diverted billions from our appropriations bills for the same price we could have had a heavy cruiser. But no, we had to make nice to the Turians, throw money at a co-developed boondoggle. I'm here to make an inspection, Commander. Normandy is an Alliance warship. I intend to see she's up to snuff. We'd be honored to show her to you, Admiral. I'll just bet. Wait here. I won't be long. Commander, I'm not happy. What did you find out of order? Who designed that CIC? Putting the commander aft of everyone else is inefficient. What if he needs to discuss with the operators toward the bow? Modified Turian style. They prefer commanders looking over their subordinates rather than in the middle of them. We wanted to see how effectively they can command with that setup. Hmm. Reasonable goal, but they should have studied that in a lab rather than on a frontline warship. I had to shake my head at that drive core of yours. 120 billion credits of element zero to make this thing able to move without giving itself away. You realize we could make drive cores for 12,000 fighters with that money? What good is it to hide for a few hours anyway? Useless! We can loiter in an enemy system and monitor traffic, or drop infiltration teams on enemy worlds. Normandy can be more effective than the Solarian STG. Yeah, that is true. Maybe, but that's not the job of a proper warship. We're supposed to find and kill the enemy fleet, not count how many times their garrison goes to the bathroom. And we need to talk about your crew, Commander. Krogan? Asari? Turians? What are you thinking, Commander? You can't allow alien nationals free access to Alliance equipment? Between Saren and the Geth, we have enough enemies out here. Treating other species with suspicion and distrust won't win hearts and minds. That assumes the hearts and minds are worth winning. That hasn't been proven yet. You have anything else to say, Commander? Any other justifications for the state of this vessel? None, sir. Very well. I don't agree with any of this, but your reasons seem sound. I'll be submitting a report to the Joint Military Council. It will not be as negative as I planned. Good hunting, Commander Shepard. Make us proud. In breaking news, Chairman Burns of the Parliament Subcommittee on Transhuman Studies has been kidnapped by biotic extremists. The biotics commandeered a freighter and were last seen in the Hades Gamma Cluster. No demands have yet been made. All right, so that is a quest that we're going to get. If you don't get it from the elevator, you get it from Admiral Hackett later. Commander Shepard? Kalisa bin Seen and Aljilani, Westerland News. Would you answer a few questions for our viewers? What sort of questions? People back home have heard a lot of wild stories about you, Commander. I can give you the chance to set the record straight. What do you say? So long as you understand that I may not be able to answer all questions. I'm sure our viewers will understand. Humans have been trying to get the respect of the galactic community for 26 years. With that in mind, what are your feelings on being the first human specter? We all know it should have happened years ago. I hope the council realizes that we won't see <laughs> Hell yeah. I believe that without firm action on our part, the council will continue to treat us like poor relations. Have you encountered any situations where the Citadel asked you to place its needs before the needs of Earth? I think they know not to ask me to work against my own people. I think our viewers will be glad to hear that, Commander. You've been given command of an advanced human warship for your missions. Is there anything you'd like to say about it? The Normandy is a triumph of human engineering. Like our development of fighter carriers, it shows other races that we're able to think outside the box. That's gratifying. Many defeatist officers claim that the Alliance can't compete with the naval power of, say, the Turians. Do you think it was appropriate to hand Earth's most advanced warship over to the Citadel? I wasn't aware it had been handed over to anyone. I'm in command, and last I checked, I'm human. Same goes for my crew. Human, yes, but you do work for the Citadel now, Commander. One last question, Commander. Rumors back home say you're tracking a rogue specter named Saren. Do you have any comment on that? Hold on. 
It's pretty clear you have an agenda here. I'm not gonna be part of it. Excuse me. You can't just walk away, Commander. The public has a right to know. Isn't it true you're just a shill for the Council? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to see Dr. Michelle again. Oh, looks like she's in a bit of trouble again. I need those supplies for my clinic. I can't. You can and you will. Or your story won't stay secret for long. Don't disappoint me, Doctor. Oh, Commander Shepard. I didn't see you come in. Every time I come in here, I see someone threatening you. Who was that? Someone from my past. I can take care of it. Just tell me what's going on. I was fired by my previous employer for giving out free medical supplies to clinics like this. They never filed any charges, they just wanted me to leave without any fuss. But somebody must have found out. Now they are blackmailing me. I have to give them what they want. If the board finds out about my past, I could lose my license, they'll shut my clinic down. Maybe I can get you out of this. Tell me what they want. I have to give some of my medical supplies to a merchant in the markets. They expect delivery today. Give me your contact's name. I'll deal with this guy, whoever he is. Deal with him? But won't they expose my past? They won't bother you again. I guarantee it. I see. Maybe it's better if I don't know anymore. I was told to speak with a merchant named Morlan, down in the markets. I really appreciate this, Commander. Thank you. Don't worry. I'll take care of this. Good luck, Commander. Be careful down there. Okay. Now we're gonna talk to Zabaleta. Hey! You're the shepherd kid. Hey. Been a long time, huh? I'm sorry. Do we know each other? Uh, I guess you don't remember me. Lieutenant Zabaleta? I, I worked with your mother. We served on the carrier Einstein. Well, that was 12, 13 years back, though. You were just a kid then. I didn't see her much that tour. The ship was on patrol most of the time. Hey, call your mom up and ask. She'd remember old Zabaleta. She'd vouch for me. Look, I need a favor. I'm kind of short on money these days. I hate hitting you up for money, but a man's gotta eat, right? So, could you spare something? Maybe 20 credits. Yeah, it's not a problem. You're a good kid, you know that? Thanks. You ever want to come by and talk, I'll be here. Huh? <laughs> Can't afford a ticket home, right? Okay, that's a nice guy and... <laughs> it's a bank statement. It shows that I bought something from you when I bought it. Well, thank you for buying from me, but this still doesn't prove that you purchased that item from my store. <laughs> I didn't buy anything else here. How do I know that? If you don't have the proof of purchase, I can't help you. But <laughs> Sorry. Hey, Commander Shepard, it's me, Conrad Werner. Remember me? There are rumors on the extranet that you've been made the first human specter. That's incredible. Being a specter is a big responsibility. I just want to make humanity proud. The vids are all talking about Commander Shepard fighting for all of us back home. And they also say that you don't take crap from anybody. You're showing them what humans can do. Hey, can I get your picture? I don't have a problem with it, but why? You're a hero, Shepard. Decades from now, humanity's going to remember you. And I'll have your picture. Well, I can jack off to it. <laughs> Perfect. Thanks again, Commander. I'm gonna hang this in my living room. My wife will love it. Which one, the left or right? <laughs> Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? You were expecting a delivery of medical supplies? But I was told the doctor would be bringing them. There's been a change of plans. A change, but the doctor... I don't... This is not right, human. Shut up, Morlin. I told Baines you'd screw this up. What the hell's going on here? 
Who are you? Leave the doctor alone, or you'll have to deal with me. We can end this if you just bring me those supplies. Otherwise, I'll start telling people about the doctor's little secret. Her secret stays buried, or I bury you. Hey, hold on! I'm just the middleman here. This is way more than I bargained for. Thank you, human. It is good to see him humbled so. What do you know about Baines? I have never met him, human. I only worked with the one who spoke with the doctor. Excuse me. Goodbye. Yes, all right then. Good tidings to you, human. Okay, now we go back to talk to Dr. Michelle. Commander, how did things go? <coughs> he won't be bothering you anymore. Really? That's a great relief, Commander. Thank you. I can't pay you for your help, but I can give you a discount on any supplies you purchase here. The thug said he worked for a man named Baines. Sound familiar? Baines? I wonder if he means Armiston Baines. We worked together a long time ago. What can you tell me about him? Last I heard, the Alliance military was contracting him for some research in the Traverse. I wonder if the captain knows him. We'll see what the captain can tell us. I wish I could tell you more. Is there anything else I can help you with, Commander? Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. Okay, so now we're going to talk to Captain Anderson. I heard what happened under the Artemis Tau Cluster. The Council wasn't too happy about the destruction of those Prothean ruins. This isn't a game, Ambassador. Shepard's out there trying to stop Saren from destroying the galaxy. I know, I know. Just try to be a little more careful. The Council's watching you, and we all get judged on how you behave. Yes, Commander? What do you know about Armiston Baines? Where did you hear that name? Never mind, I don't want to know. Baines is dead. Has been for quite some time. The people I spoke with seem to think he was still alive. It's not common knowledge. Military is keeping it under wraps. Baines was doing some high-level work for the Alliance. Stuff even I wasn't aware of. One day he turns up dead on a drifting scout ship. Everyone suspects it was foul play, but it was never officially investigated. This is a cover-up if I ever heard one. I don't know much about it. You should talk to Admiral Kohoku. One of his crews discovered Bane's body. I spoke to Kohoku. He never brought it up. You should mention Bane's the next time you see him. See if he'll tell you anything. Is there anything else? All right. I should go. I'll be here if you need anything. Now we're talking to Nasana Dantius. Commander Shepard, I am Nasana Dantius. I see you got my message. You said you had a job offer. I do. My sister Dahlia is a crewman on the cargo vessel operating out beyond the fringes of the Traverse. Her ship was attacked by privateers. There were no reported survivors. You want me to hunt down the people who killed her? This is where it gets complicated. Last week, I received a message with her voice on it. Dahlia is alive! The rest of the crew was killed, but she was taken prisoner. The slavers demanded a huge ransom from me in exchange for returning her unharmed. Do you want me to deliver the ransom? I've already transferred the funds to the account they specified. Only they never released her. They haven't contacted me since. I've made a terrible mistake, Shepard. I'm a diplomatic emissary. By law, I'm required to report any attempted extortion to CSEC immediately. But I was afraid for Dahlia, so I just paid the ransom. Now she's still missing, and if anyone finds out what I did, I could end up in jail. You want me to find her and bring her back? You only need to bring her back. I've already found her for you. I tracked the ransom payment through several accounts. Eventually, it led to a small mercenary band operating out of the Artemis Tau Cluster. I need you to go to the Merc base, take them out, and bring my sister back. You shall be well rewarded. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll bring your sister back. 
Thank you, Shepard. I knew you were the right man for the job. Come back and see me when the job is done. All right, and here's Michael and Rebecca. Who are you to tell me what my husband would want? I'm the only person making sense right now. You're endangering your baby. This baby is the only thing I have left of Jake. I don't care what you think, Michael. It's my decision. I know you're hurting, Rebecca, but don't let your grief hurt your baby, too. Can I help you with anything? <sighs> Perhaps you could talk some sense into her. I don't need anyone to talk sense into me, Michael. I'm not undergoing the treatments. My sister-in-law here is pregnant, and she's refused to let the baby undergo gene therapy in utero. I thought gene therapy was common. My husband Jacob died from a rare heart condition several months ago. There's a chance that the baby could develop the same heart condition, but routine gene therapy can eliminate it. A very small chance, Michael. And extranet reports say the therapy could harm the child. It's less dangerous than the genetic enhancements that every soldier in the Alliance receives. For what it's worth, I think you should consider undergoing the therapy. I don't care what you think. Who are you anyway? It's my child. It's my decision. You've already lost your husband. Are you going to let your grief endanger the baby too? I had to watch Jacob die. I can't risk causing the death of my child as well. Your husband's death wasn't your fault. But if you refuse the therapy, your child's death could be. Don't you understand? I can't lose this baby. This... This is all I have left of him. And you and that baby are all I have left of Jacob. I can't lose you. Either of you. Not after this. Then why didn't you just say that instead of yelling at me? I was scared. I'm sorry. If it means that much to you, if you trust that it's the right thing, I'll do the therapy. Thank you so much. Uh, I guess we needed an outside person to talk some sense into both of us. All right, so now we go talk to Emily Wong. Commander Shepard, could I have another word with you? Hello again, Commander. I've got a proposition for you. Since you helped me get information on the crime syndicate, I've gotten a lot more backing from my publishers. I'm investigating traffic controller conditions now, and I wondered if you could help. What do you want me to do? I've heard rumors that the space traffic controllers are overworked to a dangerous degree. I can't get into the control room, but you could. If you planted a bug inside, I could crack the story. I can't promise anything, but I'll see what I can do. Give me the bug. Excellent. Just place it on a terminal with a good view of the area. Thanks again for your help. In the long run, this story is... Excuse me! Lives. Commander, any luck finding my recon group? Captain Anderson said you had information on Baines. Not as much as I'd like to. One of my crews found him, frozen stiff on board a derelict vessel. The missing recon group? The one I sent you to find? They were scouting the system we found Baines' ship in. You should have mentioned this earlier, Admiral. Baines is already dead. It's too late for him. I'm only concerned about my team. Someone has to find them. Please, Shepard. I'm counting on you. All right. Now we're going to put that bug up in um, traffic controller area. And then we're going to talk to our mother, it looks like. Computer. Give me a real-time connection to the Dreadnought Kilimanjaro. I want to speak to my mother, Exo Shepard. Shepard speak? Oh, hi. I don't have time for a personal call right now. I'm on duty. I know what that's like. Do you remember a Lieutenant Zavaleta from the Einstein? Ernesto? Have you heard from him? 
He was one of the Marines who guarded the CIC. We shared a watch. I lost track of him after there was an incident. What kind of incident? You remember the Batarian raid on Mindwar in 2170? You were in high school. The Einstein's task group responded to the May Day. The Batarians were still pulling out when the Marines hit groundside. Zabaleta was one of the first down. He... he was never quite the same after. He has post-traumatic stress because of what he saw? He tried to keep working, but it rode him. He showed up drunk on duty more and more. We couldn't always cover for him. The Alliance discharged him. Everyone knew he drank because of what he'd seen down there, even if he never talked about it. Especially because he never talked about it. That explains everything. Thanks. If you see him, tell him we still worry about him. Tell him to go to the Veterans Affairs office. I have to go. But take care of yourself. You're making us proud. Kilimanjaro out. All right. So now we're going to go back out. Coming in. Patch it through. Commander, Ms. Algelani's story on you just aired. <laughs> I don't blame you for walking out on her. Can you say scum bucket? Sir, she was going to make me look bad no matter what I said. You're probably right. I guess it could have gone a lot worse. Just wanted to let you know what the response was back home. I won't keep you any longer. Fifth Fleet out. All right. So here we go. We're going to go down to this planet. And we got a few planets we're going to do here. You know, forgive me looking at the time the timeline, you know. I just wanted to see how long this video was going. I didn't want to keep going and jabbering on and then have it be the end of the video, so um, I was smart this time, and you'll see why in a second. I cut out all the driving. I cut out all the driving of all the planets. Because you guys don't need to see me going around getting the debris and getting the uh, ores, to get the mineral ores and all that. You don't need to see me do that. Boom. <laughs> we blew him to shit. <laughs> all right. We got them all killed. Now my overload and sabotage are not strong enough to do that fuel tank. You gotta have max level on that. There, we kill the Krogan. Why am I wasting time trying to kill that fucking... There, we got her. Shot him in the head. <laughs> and upstairs is a enemy. Oh. 
Boom. There we go. Just to mix and match. That's all I did that for. Now. I just go in here and discover everything, don't I? That what I do? Yeah. Yep. And then we open the safe, and then I think we get out of here. Yep, okay. I'm picking up a signal from the planet's surface. It looks like an automated distress beacon. Okay. So we land on the planet. And this, I believe, is Admiral Kahoku's uh, survey team, I'm pretty sure. It sure is. It sure is. Uh-oh, a Thresher Maw! God, he's going far away, isn't he? But we got him. And we leveled up. Hell yeah. So we're gonna max out Intimidate. Well, not max out, but get it to more motivated buyer. And then we're gonna do basic armor just so we can get more damage protection. Okay, I should have never done first aid for Ashley. Should have never done it. Alright, now we know everything of Liara's. Yeah, we really do. Commander, urgent message from Alliance Command coming in. I'll patch it through. Shepard, this is Admiral Hackett from Alliance Command. We've got a situation here, and you're the only one that can handle it. What do you need, Admiral? There's an Alliance training ground where we test weapons and technology and live fire simulations. One of the VIs we use to simulate enemy tactics in the drills is no longer responding to our override commands. It's gone rogue. How many casualties so far? Seventeen Marines were killed in the simulation exercises before we realized what had happened. That's when we contacted you. VI support is critical to our military success. They process thousands of status reports and react in nanoseconds. No human can do that. But as advanced as this thing is, that military strategy is still just a VI. It's not self-aware, and it's completely disengaged from any networks. That's where you come in. We need you to fight your way through the training ground of the VI Corps and manually disable it. Don't worry, Admiral. I'll take that thing out. I know Spectres answer the Council, but you're still human. You're still part of the Alliance military, and right now we need you. The VI controls all the facilities, weapons, drones, and automated defenses. You're the only one that can pull this off, Shepard. Good luck. Okay, so this is the level. 
either 10 or 20 quests. I think it's 20. Where you get to upgrade your class. Again, I cut out the driving. Which is nice. But then I realize, oh, I need more tech than I need um, biotic. I should have brought um, Tally with me instead. That's okay. There we go. You always take out the turrets first. That way they don't kill you. There we go, and we level up. Now, it doesn't matter what building you go into first. It really doesn't. Um... You just have to go in all three and destroy the BI core. So, in all three buildings. You know, when I was a kid, I went to, a, to school with a kid named Caden. I really did. So in we go, we kill the fucking, um, turrets. I used to have a lot of problems with this, but you'll see that I just blow through this. I don't know what the power junctions do, I don't know if it weakens the drones or what, but We're playing duck hunt here. I wish there was an easier way to shoot and kill those things. I really wish there were. I wish I'd have just cut this out too, but I didn't. Okay, so I do cut out the walking back and drive into the next building, so, you know, that was smart of me, it really was, and I'm thinking this is the last mission, I'm thinking, for this video, so, um, you know, I do apologize looking at the time, the timeline, you know. Uh, 
Okay. I'm looking for a rocket launcher, is what I'm looking for. One of the rocket drones. Run away! Run away! There you go. I had a little trouble with that one. Bag him and tag him. Bag him and tag him. See, this is where it gets kind of stupid. The frickin' barriers. You know, the barriers are where it gets fucking stupid. You know? I know they were wanting to make this look realistic. Oh, the VI is just trying to protect itself, but come on. This is just stupid, you know? You gotta shoot barriers from every door, and come on, man. The reason I always start left is because I'm left-handed, so... Okay. Now watch this. This one was cool. Watch this. We do sabotage on them. And we do... Boom! We just murdered every one of them. <laughs> they grouped up all in one spot and we were able to take them out with the tech mines. That was so cool. That was so cool. There we go. Now we just go to the other side and kill the other three and then we'll be all set. All right, sabotage the rocket. Boom. And boom, we did get a level. I should have just waited until um, we got done here, but whatever.
Yeah, we do Spectre here. Again, I should have never wasted the points on first aid for Ashley. Never should have. Negative contacts, Commander. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I thought this was going to be the last mission, so... Like I said, I wish there was a way you could blow these things up without... Um, happen to shoot him like crazy. Alright, that was the last one. Now we unlock the specialization class. So, you get the choice between operative and medic. Um, operative is, uh, operatives are master at, uh, manipulating fuck. Operatives are masters at manipulating their environment to maximize advantage. What operatives get, they get a re reduced recharge time on all tech attacks. It improves overload and improves sabotage. So I end up doing operative. Whereas medic, you're more of a healer. And you get um, neural shock. Clear. So that's going to be it for this video. Hope you all had fun in this episode, and I will see y'all in the next episode.